Hi, this is Krishna Day of bizgrowthnews.com with a quick personal branding online tip and it's all about Facebook and a Facebook URL that you can create to represent your personal brand online. It's the 14th of June 2009 and from today you can now have a username for your Facebook profile. This is also available if you have a Facebook fan page as well. However, just to let you know, you need to have got over a thousand fans on that page and your Facebook page needs to have been live at May 31st, 2009. Obviously, as you watch this video in the future, um, you might want to go back and check if that has changed. And it's just some security measures that Facebook have put in, in place. But back to your Facebook profile. If you've got a profile at the moment that is not representing your personal brand, I would certainly recommend that you make that change. Usually they get set up as a default with a whole bunch of numbers and that's not so easy to represent you and it, it's difficult to rep represent that perhaps if you're going to put it on a, um, a letterhead or on the bottom of your email or on your business card. So I have gone over to my Facebook profile and here it allows me to set my username. So I'm just going to click to do that now. And what happens is it gives me a number of options. In fact, these are the options that are available at the moment and it gives me some more options. So I'm going to click on that. Now, I don't recommend putting numbers in any URLs that you use. And the reason for that is that it means that it's difficult for people to remember. Um, I'd much rather have my name. Now, if there's Krishna.day and then that would be facebook.com forward slash Krishna dot day and that's one option but everywhere else on the web you would just find me as Krishna day without the dots between them so I try to maintain that consistency so what I'm going to do here is see if my desired name of just Krishna day without the dot in it is available and allows me to check my availability it is available however it does say here I can't change my username once I've set it. Do I want to make sure that it's Krishna Day? So that will mean it's facebook.com forward slash Krishna Day. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to confirm it. And let's see what happens next. My username has been set. So now if I click on facebook.com forward slash Krishna Day, I'm going to go and open that link. Now it's taken you straight to my profile um, and the reason for that is that I'm actually within Facebook. But if I logged out, it would take you to my profile that I've actually enabled. I've gone to my settings and I've made sure that certain elements of my profile are able to be indexed and found in the search engines. Remember, don't leave it to chance what people find about you. Do set up your privacy settings. If you've got information on your profile that you don't want to share, then make sure you've taken the time to go to your settings and check out your privacy settings. But for today, that's the main tip I wanted to share with you. Think about your Facebook profile. Consider the name that people you want people to find you by. And I'd strongly encourage you to try and keep it the same name across Twitter, across LinkedIn, across Facebook or any other places that you are online. This is Krishna Day of bizgrowthnews.com. In fact, you'll find me, I've got my own domain name, krishnaday.com. Thanks again for watching. And if you've got other questions or um, things and observations about how you're building your personal brand online, I'd love to hear from you.